Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Blu-ray collection update and unboxing. I'm David Cantu and I review movies over at CinemaDeviant.com. I started doing this recently as a way to give people a heads up as to what's coming out now and in the upcoming weeks as far as Blu-rays and DVDs go. Uh, now, between the last video and this video, which I'm filming the same day, just hours apart, uh, you might notice that there's a big difference with me. Um, enough was enough and I decided to shave the beard for the most part so i just got this guy left um so i feel freer now <laughs> in a sense um let's go ahead and jump right in though uh first up is the last king last king is for magnet releasing and it is out now now this is a really nice slip cover i like this slip cover a lot um the uh, the story sounds really interesting but this slip cover does just wonders man like look at this awesome so good everything is pretty much embossed and raised even down to the individual birds i don't know if you can see that but each bird in there is is, is raised as well which is really really impressive you know i don't even care if this movie's bad like this is worth it right here <laughs> this is so cool here goes the back here if you want to check out what it's about i get a little closer and the special features are there as well. Like I said, the, the movie does sound interesting though. So I, I'm actually really uh, really intrigued to, to check it out. There's really nobody in here that I can uh, that I can recognize. Yeah, not not really. But interesting movie. Sometimes again, you know, I always say if you don't recognize anybody that's in a film, that's okay. Because sometimes movies come from left field and they will just surprise the hell out of you. So um, I'm, I'm really excited to check this one out as well. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Uh, back doesn't look too different from the slip cover there. My trusty opener. Which still doesn't have a name, by the way, FYI, people. Rusty, I don't know. Mm, Rusty Shackelford. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still looking for a name. So, any suggestions, let me know. All right. Um, all right. So, no interior artwork. The disc does have art. Um, Magnet Releasing, which is a subsidiary of, of Magnolia Pictures, they always do a disc art, which is really awesome. I love that. Um, and it is slightly different. Not much. But <laughs> slightly, maybe slightly different than, uh, than the cover there. So that's really good as well. And then there goes the front, back, and spine. So again, it is out now from Magnet Releasing. So check that out. And just, I mean, take a moment. If you come across this at the store, take a moment to appreciate a nice slipcover. Really, really nice. Uh, next up is Satanic. Satan it gets right to the point with this one. <laughs> you, have, you have no... Um, you have no worry to, you know, if you're trying to figure out what it's about. Kind of gives you the whole story right there, what, it's, what it is. Uh, and this one is from Ma Magnet Releasing as well, and it is out now as well. Now, this one does star uh, Sarah Hyland from Modern Family. She's always a, a favorite of mine. She, you know, she's a funny actress. This is going to be a different uh, Justin Chon, too. This is going to be a different, um, I guess, departure for her. You know, I, I don't think I've ever really seen her in like a... A horror movie or a thriller or anything like that so that's going to be pretty interesting it does say from producers of the walking dead which producer <laughs> I, I you know it kind of gets me whenever they do that um because you know they just kind of use it for marketing for the most part but i kind of legitimately want to know which producer um and i got i mean i can find out but whatever um there goes the back there it's a little reflective sorry but if you guys want to find out what it's about Pause the screen. And the special features as well. I, I can appreciate a good horror movie, especially now that it's October. I'm looking for, for you know, different and new kind of horror movies to watch. Because, you know, you kind of have the same go-tos every every October. I know I do. Uh, the Jasons, the uh, Michael Myers, you know, the Freddy Kruegers. So, something new out there. Magnet, you know, Magnet has really... Um, their genre, their genre company, so that that's all they put out. Um, so they've never really steered me too wrong 
as far as the stuff that they put out. So I'm really, I'm really looking forward to checking this one out as well. And as I said, Magnet always does the, the disc art, which is really cool. And the same as the cover, pretty much. And as you can see on the cover, there is like a Ouija board type lettering in the back. So it's probably most likely has to do with the Ouija board. I know that there's that other uh, Ouija uh, origin of evil is going to be coming out soon as well. So they're going to try to capitalize on that kind of, uh, you know, momentum. And there it goes. Front, back, and spine. Now, if Magnet started doing like some interior artwork for their stuff, I think as far as Blu-ray presentation goes, I, they would they would top they would top everything across the board for the most part anyway. Besides Arrow Video, Arrow Video just freaking slays it every time. Um, next up is Legend of Tarzan. Legend of Tarzan is from uh, Warner Brothers Home Entertainment, and it is out October 11th. Um, now, this one, I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't see it in theaters. I missed it. But I like a good Tarzan movie. I, I like, you know, uh, I can appreciate a Tarzan movie. It does have uh, Alexander Skarsgård, uh, Samuel Jackson, Margot Robbie, uh, Christoph Waltz, and, oh, man, I'm going to butcher his name. And I, I know it. Dijmon Hans, Hansu? See there. Great. He's a great actor. All these are actually are great actors. So I'm um, I'm pretty excited to check this one out. You know, it, it looks like it's going to be a re-envisioning of the story. So, I mean, I, I, it has me. It has me uh, stoked for it. It goes if you want to check out what it's about. Special features. All right. Let's go ahead and... Now, Little a uh, little bit of a bummer that there's no you know embossing here on the slip cover, but it is a nice cover to it. Nice cover art. And there goes the cover again. Back here, not too different than the slip cover. So, pop this open. Now, okay, I do appreciate that WB doesn't put the stickers on top. I, I as much as I, I you know I don't mind the, the extra security measure stuff like that it does get a little trying sometimes to peel them off every time so wb just kind of gets to the point um there's a digital copy and there you go blu-ray and dvd of the legend of tarzan front back and spine now what would be really funny is if the soundtrack was by Phil Collins. <laughs> All right, next up, I'm trying. I'm trying with the jokes here. They're just not hidden, so whatever. <laughs> next up, and this one is one I'm really excited for. Um, this is one of my. I remember the one of the first horror movies that I saw as a kid. Um, as a kid, I'll give you a little little backstory on this. As a kid, um, maybe when I say kid, maybe about 13 years old or so. Um, which is a long, long time ago. Um, me and a friend used to always uh, wander into Blockbusters, uh, Blockbuster Video. I don't know, you younger audience may not know what a Blockbuster is, but it was a video rental store. Um, we used to always go straight to the horror section and browse around and try to find an interesting horror movie that we had never seen before. Um, this movie was one of those. And I remember watching it and I was in thralled by it like i loved it so much it was so weird and out there and kind of comedic because it was so cheesy but it was so good at the same time and that is slugs slugs is out now from arrow video one of the most awesome awesome awesomest movies out there in my opinion i love it so much and arrow video has, has done a release of it phenomenal artwork on it like arrow always does great stuff man i love it i can't wait to see the reverse um and then there goes if you guys want to know what it's about and see the special features you can pause the screen there to save some time because sometimes i talk too much um an arrow video like i've said before that another thing that i can appreciate that they do and see if i can get it off with decent uh they have like this like gum wrapper type of 
that kind of thing here. I don't know if you can. Here it is. It's like you're you're opening a, a box of like Wrigley's gum. So it's really cool, and you just slide it out. Simple as that. And maybe not that simple this time, but. <laughs> um, so yeah. So here goes. We'll just get to the front, back, and spine part already. Front, back, and spine. All right. And another poster. This looks like, oh my god, I can't remember. Well, maybe I gotta cover some of this. I can't remember what it is. I just, I had unboxed this. It was a whole box set. Uh, prisoner, female prisoner scorpion, I believe it's called. Uh, so that's a little poster for that. Various one sheets there. And let's get to the booklet real quick. Here goes the booklet for slugs. This is a, somewhat of a cover that I remember on the on the VHS back in the day. And then, ooh, ooh, now you see you you understand what you're getting yourself into when you see once you see those pictures. And the rest of the booklet, you know, just various production pictures and things like that. Um, I will save the rest of it so that way you guys can can if you're deciding to want to get this, you'll be able to check it out and, and enjoy. Shout out to, uh, oh my God, I can't remember the username out there that gave me that advice. Perfect advice. Thank you so much. Um, and then the disc here. That is some awesome disc art. Love it so much. So badass it is. All right. Let's go ahead and take out. Now, this one didn't come with a DVD like the, uh, from what I understand, they normally do. But that's okay. I'm good with I'm good with whatever they whatever they gave. And there goes the alternate the alternate uh, cover there. So good, man. I'm like, I don't. I mean, I get excited. Don't get me wrong. I get excited with all these Blu-rays for the most part. But I don't think one has excited me as much as this one does and i am so looking forward to checking this one out again it's been a very long time since i've seen it i might have to call up my friend to uh you know to go ahead and, and we can watch it together because it's been so long man so good i'm so looking forward to checking this one out definitely a review will be coming for this one uh next up is one that i had been told to watch for many years i know of it i've just never seen it and um and that's vamp from Arrow Video. And that's out now as well, I believe. Starring Grace Jones. My God, man. Grace Jones, she was like, in the 80s, she was the it girl as far as, you know, if you wanted somebody exotic and tall and just demanding on screen. She was like, uh, man, uh, she was she was just amazing. She, she was in a Bond film, I believe, as well. I'm not too sure which Bond film, but she reminds me a lot of... Uh, Who's the other girl from Rocky? Uh, Dolph Lundgren's Russian girlfriend from it. She reminds me a lot of her. She's very, you know, demanding and commanding on screen. Let's go ahead and pull this off. That one came off a little easier. And here we go. Front cover, back cover, and spine. Now this one does come with one sheet as well. The same one, looks like. Same one as the last one. And we'll go through. Look, that's Grace Jones right there. I don't know if you guys recall who she is. The older crowd might. She was great. I liked her and everything she was in. So intimidating, though. <laughs> there goes the front insert. So you kind of know what you're getting yourself into again. And then I don't know about that. I don't know. <laughs> I can't, I've never seen this movie, but. You know, again, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm really intrigued to check it out because I've always heard uh, good things about it. And one of those movies that people always say, you know, you got to watch it. you got to watch it. So, and that's Grace Jones again. So, and again, production notes, all that stuff. Uh, production photos, all the inside. Yeah. Check it out. If you, I mean, if you guys are intrigued by, by this, you know, film, I do suggest picking up a bunch of Arrow video releases. Because if anything, I mean, you get some cool cult films that don't get much press and it's in a nice packaging very nice packaging and let's go ahead and show the alternate cover as well really cool bam 
vampire movies are always cool to me too. Another another good um, movie to watch, you know, for the season. So, and I'm, uh, you know, I hope that you guys are just like like I am, and very open minded when it comes to films, because, you know, and I've said it before on here that sometimes that's how you miss the good stuff. You know, whenever you you know you just kind of look at a movie and be like, oh, I'm just gonna, it looks cheesy. Watch the cheese, man. <laughs> Next up is Vampires. Vampires. And this is from Artsploitation Films. This is another company that I always tell you guys about. That they always put out some really interesting and uh, and sometimes shocking and thought-provoking movies. You know what I mean? So sometimes good, sometimes bad. But for the most part, they, they knock it out of the park for the majority of the time. This one, Vampires. This is a remake of a 1974 film, from my understanding. I've never seen it. But um, apparently it's a very, um, mm, how can I put it, um, erotic vampire movie? <laughs> I'm, trying to be, I'm, I'm trying to be nice about it and be subtle. But um, yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it's one of those kind of movies. So, and um, I really can't probably show too much in the back, but yeah. So you get the point. I, you know what? I'm going to cover some of this here because I don't know honestly how much I can show on a video alright there if you guys want to read what it's about go ahead and put that there you pause it and then the special features are down there but oh you're going to see my nasty fingernail I, I chew my nails a lot sorry um, <laughs> let's go ahead and pop this open And oh, this is a really strong sticker. I'm I'm not even gonna pull off the rest the rest of it. Um, nothing in the inside, no interior artwork, but it does have disc art. Our exploitation films always puts disc art, which is very, very much appreciated. So I do. So if you're older, part of my older crowd, then um, give this film a watch. I, I don't know, again, I don't know if it's any good. I've never seen it. Um, but if you're into, like, the weirder side of film, I don't know. Again, I'm trying to word this correctly. If you're in the weirder side of film, or if you just want to watch eroticism, I don't know, then go ahead and check this one out. This one is out uh, out now, I believe, from Marsploitation Films. And last, lastly, is a show... That um, I never got around to watching. I've always seen the previews for it. And it looked really interesting. And that is Feed the Beast. So I'm, I don't know if, if any of you guys have watched it. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. It does star David Schwimmer and Jim Sturgis. Both actors I, I like. You know uh, David Schwimmer. I always see him as more of a comedian. I always see Ross from Friends. But you know he's kind of turned things around with, uh, with the... The People versus OJ on uh, you know on FX. He had a more serious role, obviously. Um, you don't see that too much from him. He hasn't been in the spotlight very much lately. But I'm really intrigued and, and interested to check the show out. And there goes the back there if you guys want to read what it's about. Special features down there below. All right. It does come with a, a cool slipcover. It is a DVD. It does have digital copy in it as well. So I, I'm I'm always I'm always really surprised and you know really um, appreciative whenever they do a slipcover on DVDs. Uh, they don't do much of them anymore because DVDs are kind of like going to the the wayside. But it's always appreciated that they're still putting you know at least a little bit of, uh, of care in the format. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open. And this one has a sticker as well. See, the stickers kind of take up a little bit too much time, but whatever. Um, this come with digital copy. An advertisement for The Walking Dead, of course, because this is an AMC release. And it does have the episode list. There you go. It looks like, what, 10 episodes? Not bad. That's pretty good for, for a first season. And it does have this one. Two and this three. Nice artwork on each one. 
that they you know didn't replicate just uh, you know a single image on each disc. I actually have both Jim Sturgis and uh, David Schwimmer there. And then David Schwimmer and then Jim Sturgis. That's good. I like that a lot. And then front, back, and spine. Now the story, the plot to this does sound really interesting. I'm, I'm really you know intrigued to check this on check this one out as well. Um, so that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys for watching so much. If you guys like this video, if you guys are excited for any of these releases, then hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And you know, I don't I don't normally do this, and I wanted to just give a quick little message of positivity out there. Um, to anybody out there that is experiencing this, experiencing any sort of negativity in your life, um, you know, anybody that is holding you down or you feel is holding you down, telling you you can't do something, what are you talking about? You know, if, if there's, if you have a dream, if you have something that you want to do in life, no matter what it is, it could be small, it could be huge. Just know that you can do it. You can do it no matter what. Don't listen to anybody else. You got this. All right? And with all that being said, we'll catch you next time. Bye.